Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go, if I can have your attention then. So what I've done here is I've written it out like this. This is a given, it only give you four seconds, but then hidden is initial velocity and acceleration. Then what's asked for? The position at four seconds, the velocity instantaneous at four seconds, the average velocity over the four seconds. I want you to please understand the difference between the instantaneous velocity at four seconds and the average velocity over four seconds. Those are two different things. Uh, um, so it's like your average, it's like your, your, oh, okay, your grade, like if we looked at your grade point average through high school, and we looked at your grade point average at every quarter throughout high school, does it make sense if that would like go up and down? Oh, okay, maybe not for you. You guys are like, oh, four, all the way across. Um, let's say for normal people like me, they went up and down, right? So then if it goes up and down and fluctuates, does it make sense to you that it, in one instant, you have a certain GPA on that day, but then your grade point average over your whole career includes everything? Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. so that instant doesn't care about yesterday or tomorrow. It's only right now. Okay, so instantaneous velocity is just the V4. And that is the final velocity at four seconds. So at four seconds, Right there, radar gun, how fast are you going, right? But then oh, average velocity means from where you started to wherever you stopped, or like wherever we stopped looking at you, so what is the total? Exactly. exactly. Okay, wait, so what's the X? And then X for this was, what is the distance? Okay, whatever you got for this answer for part C, they wanna know how far did you fall before that got there, okay? And, and I'll, I'll explain once I get the first two done. So do you see, what I've done here is I've highlighted the variables that we're, we're using. The x4 equals, that's what I'm looking for. And then t, v0, and a are there. So obviously, I choose the equation x equals v0, t plus 1 half a t squared. Because I know all that other stuff. And if I plug it in, v0 is 0. So that goes away. And so I get 1 half a t squared. Well, t squared is 16, so that gives me negative 80 meters. Does that make sense to you? No. No? Okay, which part? Like, do you see how, did, did does all this givens and hiddens up here make sense? Yes. Every number makes sense. Yes. Wait. Do you see why I chose this equation? Do you see these variables? Find the only equation on your formula sheet that matches those variables. Do, do you see me saying this? And can you hear me saying it over and over again? You are trying, which is admirable, you are trying to just say, I want to know which equation to use based on the general situation. And you know what? If you like this class, <laughs> but let's just pretend. If you like this class and you, went, and you came back next year to take AP, what would happen is that because of your experience, you would begin to know, okay, I know because of this situation what I need to do. Sorry for the interruption. But at this point. Once again, I'd like to remind students that today we this have will be on your a recording too. by the Rose Queen Committee. Uh, if you're interested, please go to the theater. We'll be open at 12.15. Anyone interested in being a part of the Rose Queen, please be in the theater at <laughs> Okay, so this is negative 40 meters per second. Then here, the average, okay, just a second, I'm going to put this on because the recording is going to stop. Or not stop, but the bell's going to ring. So 
average is just distance over time. So that gives me 20 meters per second. And then this, I use 20 meters per second as my final velocity because it's saying how far did you fall before you got to 20 meters per second. So then if I solve this for x with v0 being 0, I get x equals vf squared over 2a. That's 20 squared, which is 400 over 2a, which is negative 20. So that becomes negative 20 meters. Okay, question over here.